My name is Alicia Rhodes, and I am a career advisor with the Career Center. I've been with Duke for about four years, in which I've spent a little bit of time with the Nicholas School of the Environment, and the past three years with the Career Center, where I have had the pleasure of working with a lot of first years and sophomores, guiding them in self and career exploration. With that being said, I'd like to welcome you to Exploration with the Career Center. Before we get started, I'd like to take a brief moment to give you an idea of what we will be discussing today. We will start off with a Career Center overview, and then we will talk about knowing yourself, major exploration, and career exploration. There will be a few activities sprinkled in, and then of course we will end with a quick wrap up. So what is the Career Center? i like for you to take a moment to think about what you think the Career Center is as it relates to a college or university campus, more specifically as it relates to your campus here at Duke. So what is the Career Center? The Career Center is a resource that is available to assist you throughout your time at Duke. We provide guidance, as it relates to identifying your interests, exploring majors and careers, making decisions, and career and professional development. We actually have a model called the career development process, which walks you through learning about yourself, exploring, and making intentional decisions. So let's take a look at the career development process. This symbol right here, or this logo right here, is the logo for our career development process. As you can see, is it is in the shape of an infinity sign, which means that it is ongoing. So what that means for you is that this process can be ongoing. It's not a one and done. It's also a process that you can start where you need to start. So your process might not look the same as your roommates, your friends, or your teammates. Your process is unique to you. So let's take a look at the steps of the career development process. Know yourself. You definitely wanna make sure you're taking the time to learn more about yourself. So that may look like exploring your values, identifying your interests, and identifying your strengths and, and skills. Explore options. Take some time to explore. Explore careers, explore industries, internships, and take the information that you've learned from exploring and see if it aligns with your strengths, skills, and your personal circumstances. Focus and prepare. Identify common themes or patterns and narrow down your options by eliminating those that do not align with your self-awareness. Take action. Develop a plan around what steps you need to take and when you need to take them. And lastly, evaluate and refine. Reflect on the actions you've taken and what you've learned. And then if you need to, do it all over again and start back with Know Yourself. This is a process that you can use throughout your time at Duke as well as your time beyond Duke. And hopefully it will help you make some intentional decisions about your future. What does the Career Center have to offer first years? Drop-in advising and individual appointments, online tools, practice interview, interview prep and coaching, the Career Center actually hosts a practice interview day each semester. So we host one in the fall semester and one in the spring semester. Aside from practice interview day, you can always schedule an appointment with a career advisor for a practice interview or interview coaching. And you also have access to big interview which is a platform on the Career Center's website, which allows you to practice interviewing. The system will provide you with questions, 
allow you to respond to the questions and record your responses. It also provides you feedback about your responses. So it's a great resource for you to use if you want to practice interviewing. Industry panels. Industry panels are a great way for you to explore. Explore industries, explore careers. Attending industry panels will provide you a lot of information and insight about a lot of areas that you don't know about. So don't overlook attending industry panels and getting the opportunity to connect with employers and alums. Facilitating in-person and virtual interactions, internship search strategies, experiential opportunities exploration, overcoming roadblocks. You are bound to hit a roadblock during your time at Duke. And when you do, the Career Center is here to assist. Please count on us as one of your resources to help you overcome any roadblocks you hit. Whether it's, I came to do thinking I wanted to study this and now I've completely changed my mind and I don't know what to do next, or I'm struggling to land an internship, or simply I have no idea what I'm doing. We are here as a guide to guide you through those processes and overcoming roadblocks. Thinking through purpose, reflecting on experiences. You will hear reflection and reflecting come up a lot. So just keep that in mind. Reflecting is very important. Understanding skills, interests, personality, values, and so much more. Keeping the theme of understanding skills, interests, personalities, and values, we're gonna move on to know yourself and exploring your interests. A huge part of exploring is to reflect, especially when you're exploring your interests and yourself and you're trying to become more self-aware. One of the first steps that we ask that you take is to take some time to reflect. So take a moment to think about reflection and how you like to reflect. Reflecting can look different for different people. For some people, they like to reflect by journaling. For others, it may be meditating. Some people like to take walks and think while they're walking. So it can look different for different people. If you're not used to reflecting, I would say try out different ways and see what works best for you. In order to find out more about yourself, to, to dig a little deeper, you do want to make sure you set aside some time to just reflect. In exploring your interests, what I want you to reflect on is your likes, your dislikes, what gives you energy. What drains you? What do you do that you feel good about doing? So in thinking about some of those questions, kind of think about what your answers are. This provides insight about yourself. It may tell you things about the skills that you have, what your strengths are, how you like to work best. So ask yourself those questions. As you're thinking about yourself, there is an activity that I would like for us to try. It's called, who am I? With this activity, I'd like for you to take two index cards. On index card number one, I would like for you to either write down something you'd like to know or do, but can't yet, or write down someone or something they, that you adore and want to know everything about. So again, on the first index card, I'd like for you to take a moment and think and then either write down something that you'd like to know or do, but you can't yet. So it's something that you would need to learn or something that you adore and want to know everything about. So take about one to two minutes 
to fill out the first index card. And then on your second index card, I want you to take a moment to think about something you're really good at and jot that down. So this is a way for you to reflect and pull information from your reflection. You're also tapping into learning about yourself in this activity. Another huge part of knowing yourself is exploring values. So when you think about values, the first question that might come up is, well, what are values? So values are things that you believe are important in the way you live and work. Knowing your values will help you make more intentional decisions about your future. Knowing your interests and your values can help you make some decisions that you might have coming up um, within the next year or so, like maybe choosing a major or joining a club or, or organization. At some point, deciding on what career path to take or what grad school program to enter in. So it's very important that you also take some time to reflect and think about your values. Some examples of values can be family. So as you're thinking about your family, is it important that you spend time with your family? Is family something that is going to be important to you in the future? Are you going to want your own family? Are you going to want to think through how you will be able to carve out time to spend with your family or how to financially support a family? Helping others as you start to think about your future and maybe some career paths that you're thinking about is helping others important to you. Creativity can be another value. Do you value being able to be creative in the work that you do? Is that something that is important to you? Another one would be work-life balance. When you think about the work that you may be doing, are you okay with being available after hours or on weekends? Or do you have more stricter boundaries where you're thinking after hours, you're off limits because that's your personal time or you don't want to work on weekends? That may be something to consider as you start thinking about potential careers and jobs. As you're thinking about values, in order to try to think of what's important to you, some reflective questions are identifying times when you are the happiest, thinking about when you're the most proud, and thinking about what motivates you. Taking some time to reflect on this information may also, again, give you insight about yourself that you're able to pull from and use to help identify patterns as well as help you make some decisions about your future. Major exploration is one of the biggest decisions that you'll be making within the next year or so. And as you approach thinking about exploring majors, which I would definitely suggest that you take the time to explore majors. Um, take the time to take some classes that you're interested in. Also know that your major does not have to dictate your career. Just because you're interested in studying a particular subject does not necessarily mean that you have to pursue that subject when you graduate. So a lot of times students think that because they major in one thing, when they graduate, they have to pursue a career in that same specific thing. That is not the case. You can major in psychology and decide that when you graduate, you want to work for advertising. And that's totally fine. So as you, as you start to think about majors, take some time to explore different majors but also 
don't put so much weight on that major being the deciding factor of what you, you're going to do once you graduate. Of course, in every decision that you're making, we would like to make sure that you're taking some time to reflect, think about what you've learned, how you're able to apply what you've learned and what you're about to go, enter into. Explore. You have several different options of exploring majors. You have your peers. So maybe that may look like talking to upperclassmen who are majoring in some majors that you're interested in, utilizing the directors of undergraduate studies and the directors of academic engagement. You can schedule an appointment with either one of those groups and meet with them to talk to them about different areas of interest. You also have the Career Center as a resource, as we also can talk with you about major exploration, connecting with academic advising. You each will have a college advisor assigned to you that you can talk through decisions about your major. If you visit the Career Center's website, we do have resources available that will help you explore majors. One of the most widely used resources is what can I do with this major? So that can be very beneficial for you as you start to think about majors and how your interests and your values relate to what you decide you may want to major in. Then of course, there's career exploration. So again, the first and foremost thing we would ask that you do is take some time to reflect, research, Research can also, again, look like a variety of different things. That can look like connecting with faculty, staff, employers, alums, peers. It can look like talking to family and friends about what you're interested in, finding out what they do for work. It can also look like maybe jumping on LinkedIn and researching companies or researching industries to find out more about those companies and industries. Attending career center events when we invite employers and alums to speak with you about different companies or industries. So research can be a ton of different things which we invite you to engage in so that you can learn about what's out there and what your options are. Connecting. Connect with faculty, staff, your peers, alums, employers. You have a huge Duke community that you can connect with, and we suggest that you do so. Um, they can be helpful in providing you with information and insight, as well as connecting you with other individuals who can, again, give you insight about your area of interest. Use your resources, which is honestly a common theme. Um, make sure that you're tapping into the resources that are available to you. And then that brings us to our next activity. So this is a career exploration activity. And what I would like for you to do is take out a sheet of paper and a pen or pencil. I will give you one minute to write down as many jobs or careers that you can think of. Once you've written down all of the jobs or careers that you can think of, I want you to, if you're able to pair up with someone, pair up with someone. If you're doing this solo, take a look at the list and reflect. Think about how you came up with the careers that you came up with. Are there any careers on that list of areas that you are interested in? Things that you would like to learn more about. If so, then that's a start for you to start exploring. I'd also like for you to take a moment to reflect and think about what you learned from this exercise. And so lastly, we're going to wrap up. Make sure that in all things that you do, you're making time to reflect and thinking about 
what you learned, what you experienced, what you're going into next. Get to know yourself, identify your values, always explore, explore your curiosities, connect with faculty, staff, alum, employers, your peers, always use your resources. And remember, the Career Center is excited to reflect and connect with you while you explore.